The family of an Alabama man says he underwent surgery recently to remove his spleen. Instead, they say doctors removed the wrong organ, resulting in his death. Now his widow wants to see the right people held accountable. Karis Harmon reports. Beverly Bryant and her husband Bill traveled from Muscle Shoals, Alabama to enjoy a vacation at their condo in Destin. While they were there, her husband began feeling pain on his left side. So we went to Sacred Heart on the Emerald Coast and he was admitted and became a patient of Dr. Shechnovsky's. After running tests, she says doctors identified a cyst that had ruptured and bled around his spleen. She says she wanted to bring her husband back to North Alabama to see his own doctors. I tried to convince Dr. Shechnovsky to let me take him home or arrange for him to be transported, but Dr. Shechnovsky said that Bill would bleed to death if he was moved. On Wednesday, August 21st, Bill underwent surgery to remove his spleen. By that evening, Bill was dead. They took him from us while he was completely helpless on the operating room table. They removed his liver instead of his spleen. So, of course, he bled to death on the operating room table. Everyone knows you can't live with, without your liver. It's about the same thing as if they had pulled out your heart, his heart. According to a report from Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast, Dr. Thomas Shechnovsky is identified as the primary surgeon. Attorney Joe Zarzer, who was hired by the family, gave us what is called the operative documentation from the hospital. It details the operation and what led up to it. The document reveals Brian was admitted to the hospital on August 18th. It indicates several tests were done, including an MRI and a CT scan. My client was uh, went to Sacred Heart Emerald Coast with right flank pain, discomfort, and um, he was treated. And Dr. Shaknovsky recommended that he go through a splenectomy, which is removal of the spleen. When Brian went into surgery, Zarzer says that's when something went wrong. The report says Brian lost a lot of blood during the procedure and his blood pressure dropped, abruptly sending him into cardiac arrest. Efforts to resuscitate him were unsuccessful, according to the document. Zarzer also provided the surgical pathology report from the hospital that showed the organ labeled spleen was something else. Dr. Shaknovsky was intending to take the spleen out. When the spleen was sent to pathology at the hospital, the pathologist at the hospital after the procedure is over said this is not a spleen, this is a liver. Zarzar pointed to the operative document, saying that's not what the doctor reported. The doctor reported as if it was a spleen complication uh, and that the patient had actually died from a spleen operation that went bad, right? I know I'm not the only wife that has lost her husband suddenly, but the loss of my bill was exceptionally unnecessary and brutal. She wants, I, I would too, right? She wants the criminal case to proceed. She wants a culpable negligence case on the criminal side. And she wants everybody, whether it's one doctor or doctors and nurses or multiple doctors and a hospital. She wants everybody to be held responsible so that they don't let this happen again. Your risk management team shouldn't be more robust than your credentialing team mm -hmm. at a hospital. Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast did not answer our questions about the incident or about Dr. Shagnowski's relationship with the hospital following the incident, releasing only this statement. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Sacred Heart Emerald Coast's leadership is investigating this matter. The Walton County Sheriff's Office is also investigating Brian's death. In a statement, it says it is reviewing the facts to determine if anything criminal took place. The agency also asking for the public's patience, as it says these cases are, quote, extremely complex and take time to investigate. Brian says her husband leaves behind three children and eight grandchildren. She described him as honest, kind, and dependable, saying he deserves justice. Our family and community is devastated by what's happened, and we feel that it is our duty to spread awareness and warn others. Karis Harmon with that story. The Bryan family plans to file a civil lawsuit.